maker and I'm going to show you my seed haul and my stash. But first I want to tell you about the ones that really worked well for me last season and I'll tell you why and I'll show you the ones that I'm going to do this season that are new to me but I definitely want to get planted. These are cayennes and they were very prolific last season. Um, they lasted all the way until I think, I think I finally took it down in um, the end of October. It was almost Halloween, it was cold and I finally just, you know, went ahead and took it apart and, and kind of ended its you know, season for it. But these things went all the way through summer and they were just producing and producing. And, and they were only 25 cents. They're still only 25 cents. Um, I got them at Dollar Tree. Something else. Um, I don't have the ones that I got from Dollar Tree, but I actually compared the Baker Creek heirloom yellow pear tomato and the Dollar Tree's 25 cent version of the yellow pear tomato. And honestly, the Dollar Tree one produced more and they both got the same treatment. They were both in containers, um, the whole nine yards. And um, if you remember any of the harvesting or anything that, you know, that I talked about in those videos, then um, you'll see how many we got. These were very prolific too. And they taste kind of like, well, to me anyway, Ed said they just taste like tomatoes, but they tasted kind of like plums. They weren't very like too sweet. They weren't overly sweat, but they didn't really have a tomato -y flavor. Another one, um, I now have seeds of my own from, from this one, but these are Sugar Rush Peach Peppers. Now, they don't taste sweet um, when they're first, you know, forming. It takes a little bit. They get this dark yellowish color, and that's when they start kind of getting sweet. The more they dry, the sweeter they get, and you can taste sweet, but then it's a uh, big, big heat coming right afterwards. So this is another one that I actually want to plant more of this year. Now, these are from um, Baker Creek, and this is the Georgia Southern Cradle Collars, and I believe um, American Seeds at a... The Dollar Tree, you know, this is different than the American Seed Company um, that's online. It's not the same company. But the 25 cent version, I don't know if they get as big as these, but they're definitely um, cold tolerant and frost tolerant. The ones that we have outside were pretty, pretty big, even with a sheet of ice over them. The cilantro. Um, this is another dollar store one, and this stuff got really tall. Um, we got a lot of leaves off of it. We used most of them fresh. Unfortunately, I didn't store very much of it, so I, I plan to change that this season if we're allowed. Sage. I've uh, got one that's got thyme somewhere from Dollar Tree also, but those things are hard to kill. If you want a hearty herb, plant some sage. These mustard greens, these came from, I want to say they came from a, a, one of the department stores, grocery stores or something like that. They were only 50 cents. Um, you could probably get some even cheaper than that. These are the mustard spinach tender greens. I've got them in containers. They're in the ground. And they're also really good frost tolerant plants. And we cooked a bunch of them. We canned some. We put them in soups and stews and stir fries. They may not be new to you. Stevia. Um, these came from a place called OutsidePride.com, and so I want to uh, try growing, you know, just stevia, not sugar, stevia. Shepherd's Purse. Now, Shepherd's Purse, um, it's a medicinal herb, but it's uh, used to stop bleeding. And in, in various situations, some people make tinctures out of it. Um, some will put the uh, dried leaves, the dried leaves in a you know, capsules or they'll make a tea out of it. And um, it's mainly used in women's health or emergency rooms to literally stop bleeding. You can actually uh, grind it into a powder and put it on a wound, kind of like you do cayenne, and it'll stop bleeding. But in women's health, it stops, you know, for a longer period of time. And it's different than taking, you know, say a hormone or something like that. I'm not giving medical advice. I'm just telling you that there may come a time when, you know, some other things aren't available, and this is. So I want to start growing Shepherd's Purse. Valerian. Now, valerian root, um, I think you all are familiar with, and they sell it, you know, at like, you know, uh, pharmacies and in the, the vitamins and supplement sections and even some grocery stores. And um, it's like the main ingredient in Valium. And some people it makes really drowsy, you know, it's really calming, that kind of thing. So I want to grow some valerian. Nicotania, or nica, nicotiana, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's basically a flowering tobacco leaf or leaf, leaf, flower, but it has a, a really good smell for, you know, some people, but it drives certain pests away from your plants, so I want to try that one too. And this one is new to me. This is holy basil, and it looks like regular basil, but uh, I got this from Healthy Homestead Chick, and I'm definitely wanting to put some of it in the ground and, and check out its medicinal properties. I'm still learning a lot about it. Like, it has a little bit more uh, that you can do with it than regular, like, sweet basil, Italian basil, that kind of stuff, so I want to learn more about it. So the reason I want to show you all all these seeds, which I mean, there's just there's a ton of them in every one of these buckets and boxes. But the reason I wanted to show you all of these was so you, well, okay, some people would be like, you know, that's hoarding. But I won't be planting them all at once, number one. 
but number two I share them I swap them I save them because seeds are uh, becoming a little scarce so if you have seeds that you swap with people and then you plant something and you save the seeds good on you you are helping to save a species now um, things like Swiss chard for instance that you know you're like oh I could buy that at you know the lumber store or whatever which is true you, you probably can this is probably where I got this one but maybe in a week or two you won't be able to find it so you have to look in other places for things you know like maybe instead of going to burpee you go to seed savers or you go to baker creek or you go to places that you wouldn't think that would have food or seeds like hoss tools these are uh kentucky wonder whole beans and i plan on um getting some teepees going um later on in the the season but yeah this came from hoss tools in norman park georgia and most people when they think of a tool store they think of you know uh hardware farming equipment and that kind of thing or you know chicken feed or something like that and you don't think that you know they'll have seeds that's a place to look for seeds in fact and i'm not sponsored by any of these people hostools.com has good seeds some of them are um, heirloom some are hybrid you know it just depends you have to, to look at it if you're going to um, order online there are other places that you can get seeds and i'm not saying that this place in particular is the place to go but these are non-gmo heirloom scarlet runner bean seeds the downside to ordering from a place like uh i won't call the name but an online place where you could buy a lot of stuff um is that sometimes things will get delivered to you and they're all crushed from the delivery and you might find one or two i've been scared to open this and i've had this for a couple of weeks now but i've been scared to open it because i know just from the outside it looks like somebody's crushed nuts for their ice cream cones so i know good and well that most of them if not all of them are destroyed in there now i'm sure if i would have you know told them hey they got destroyed they send me some more um this company's been good like that but i'm just saying uh, research you know some of the online places look at their reviews which i didn't do for this company but i'm not saying it's their fault i don't think that they sent me seeds out like this i think it got delivered you know damaged you know because nobody cares how they throw your stuff around during christmas season another place i've had a, a lot of good um seeds from moped marketplace and you can get them um this, I think, came from Walter's Seed Company, but you can get them just about anywhere. They're also online, and I had a favorable experience with them. I planted several types of their, uh, I think there was broccoli and cauliflower. I think I might have planted some Brussels sprouts. So this is another thing. These are fava beans, and I have not planted them yet. Now, these are the same type of runner beans as the ones like this. These are scarlet runner beans, and these are scarlet runner beans. Why did I order from two different places? Because I want to compare them. These are actually a dollar cheaper than these. So, I mean... It depends on where you go sometimes as to what deals you'll find or how scarce something is. The same way with these cowpeas. A place that um, a lot of people haven't heard of, and the reason I know they haven't heard of them is because every time I order from them, they're always like, spread the word. This is called Urban Farmer, and they're out of Indiana. Now, it takes a day or two for them to get your seeds packaged, and then however long after that to um, mail them. But um, they're a family company, and they have a huge um, farm. They've got all kinds of stuff, from asparagus to watermelons. And they even have things like um, strawberries, the strawberry roots, um, things like that. They have bushes, that, but they have to be like in season or in cutting season. So if you like get um, blackberries from them, they're not going to ship the blackberries until they actually do their cuttings, which, you know, will be in the fall. Or like uh, seed potatoes, which you get your orders in early for them and you're guaranteed to have the time that you want. They usually have some pretty good mixes of like purples and things like that. Although ours pretty much got ringed out, drowned in the ground. So we didn't get any that we planted at all from them. Um, that was probably more like our fault, not theirs, just because we planted them and they can't control the rain. So then you have things like the sunflowers. These dwarf teddy bear sunflowers, I think you might have seen a couple of them. We had planted them over by our um, cayenne, and I think they were planted by some okra, too. And they did pretty well for 50 cents. So I think you could probably get them for 25 cents, too. 20 cent marigolds, and they went everywhere. They were very prolific. Um, I, I was not disappointed by the dollar store marigolds of course now i believe the dollar store stuff depending on which dollar store you go to um and i think walmart um they'll be 25 cents at one place 20 cents at the other but they're still pretty inexpensive when you consider what you're getting out of it you don't have to spend a ton of money on food these were from the dollar store it looks kind of like a chia pet i've not tried it i'll probably do a video on it just to see i got two boxes of them um they were at dollar tree and it looks like it might just be a, a moss cake. I don't know. It, you're supposed to plant it, water it, and I think the seeds are all just kind of scattered throughout it. I have never tasted any that I'm aware of. So, again, that's something else to think about. It. The container's not in here. It's just, uh, it's very soft. That's why I say I think it's just moss because it kind of looks, you know, like a moss pack in there. So that's something to consider also. You don't have to go around spending a ton of money to get a good value. 
And since I'm already, you know, talking about that, we talk about seed swaps. This came from Steve's Growing Spaces. And I've gotten some flower seeds that I'm anxious to, to plant. Purple Gusto Chilies that I'm anxious to plant. And Indigo Blueberry Tomatoes. And if you don't have Steve's Growing Spaces, I encourage you to check out that channel. He grows a lot of different things and, and you, you just... He's very knowledgeable and his videos don't take that long. And so you look at the video and you're like, three minutes? I can't learn anything in three minutes. But, I mean, they're always packed with information. And he seems to have the magic touch when it comes to growing things. So I encourage you to check out that channel. And that's just another way you can actually get seeds without having to, to pay very much for them. Sometimes it's the cost of postage if you join or create a seed swap. And I encourage you to do that also. It's another reason why I believe that you should look at other channels and you should connect with other channels. Trade addresses, trade phone numbers, trade real names. You know, maybe you two won't be here in a month and you'll still need to grow stuff. So you may not be able to get hold of, say, in my gardener, but you might be able to find somebody who's got in my gardener late flat Dutch cabbage. Fairy Morris. Baker Creek. American Seed. Urban Farmer. Hoss Tools. And this came, these uh, Shogun turnip seeds, they came from what they call heritage packs that you get on um, Amazon's got some, uh, I thought I saw some on Wayfair, and I know eBay's got some, but they're basically these Mylar bags of uh, vacuum seal seeds. You don't really know how long they've been there. Some of them will say packaged for the whatever season, but you really don't know how long they've been in the warehouse or on the shelf, but they are for emergency gardens, like say if something were to happen and there was no other way to get seeds or whatever and you can dig these out but they don't really do you much good if you haven't already started planting them because most of them don't have well okay i take that back because every one that i've seen had radishes in them but i mean yeah radish might keep you alive but it'll take 20 days so you should always like have something going even if you just use your bathroom window for light always have something planted i hope i said something to encourage you to plant something to grab some seeds whether it's through a seed swap that only costs the price basically of a postage stamp or, you know, go down to your local discount store, dollar store, 50 cent store. There are usually seeds there, and they're usually pretty good. I mean, like I said, a 20 cent pack of seeds, you know, can usually plant, I'd say, about four square feet most of the time of just about anything that's in the packet. So, that's a lot of food. Have a good one. Stay warm. Stay safe. So, I received the most wonderful surprise in the mail today. Um, UT33200. This is a channel that does a ton of gardening, so it, it, it's it's a big surprise. It makes me happy and giddy inside because, you know, go into the mailbox and, you know, you sift through all the bills and stuff and then you find a complete and total surprise and look what's in it. Seeds! There's seeds in there. That is so cool. Thank you so much, UT33200.